If you've been struggling to find profitable products to sell on Amazon, this is the video for you. Because in this video, I'm going to be breaking down some of my absolute favorite ways to save time and source profitable products to sell on Amazon. But if you're brand new to the channel, my name's Warner Fields from Fields of Profit. I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller, and we're going to be diving into one of my favorite ways to source products for my business, which is going to be manual sourcing. My team and I have been able to sell over $2 million on Amazon of just everyday normal products that you can buy from websites like iHerb.com. We're going to look at here in just a second and flipping that item on Amazon. But before we jump into today's video. If you guys are looking for even more free resources to teach you how to sell on Amazon, it's going to be a link in the description down below. It's our completely free Amazon seller discord community. There's over like 45,000 Amazon sellers in there sharing a ton of information. Would love to see you in there, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. So to show you one of my favorite ways to save time while you're sourcing, I went ahead and pulled up a sale on iHerb.com. It's a pretty popular online arbitrage website. You can buy plenty of stuff here, sell it on Amazon. Lots of other great websites out there as well. But I want to break down kind of my thought process as we're looking through this. This is kind of like the clearance section. So I even filtered it where it's only items that we're getting 50% off or more. So this is the type of stuff you want to be checking. Check those really good sales. Many times there's a good coupon running on that website. Anything like that can make great opportunities for you to find profitable products. But even just on this page alone, we've got like like 250 products on a lot of these other websites you're going to look at you're going to see massive lists of thousands of products and a lot of time it can be very overwhelming even impossible to look through everything manually so i'm going to go ahead and just start breaking it down here so the reason why you want to manual source items is because you're going to find things that software misses right that's why we want to take advantage of this so for example this product right here what i'm going to do and what's going to save you a ton of time is using selleramp to manual source on these websites so i'm going to right click it it's going to search that title that i have highlighted there and then over here on the left, it's going to pull up all of these search results for that particular product. And we're going to be able to tell pretty quickly whether or not it's going to be an item that we're interested in moving forward. So this seems to be it right there. Looks like it's selling for $5 on Amazon. Over here, it's selling for $2. We'd have to buy this item for negative $2. So right away, we can tell we are not interested in this item. So this feature of SellerAmp alone is something I use a ton because it saves me so much time of clicking to and from Amazon. We didn't have to look at Amazon. We didn't have to copy any titles, anything like that. All we had to do is highlight over it and then SellerAmp found us the product and now it's not profitable so we can keep moving on so let's go ahead and check out this next one and then i'll kind of talk about kind of my thought process as we're looking through these products as well obviously we have about 250 products to look through you're going to need some kind of methodology right so i look up this product using the exact same method seems like there it is right there it's about 60 tablets there's no buy box in this case though pretty high bestseller rate we could at least check it out and see if it you know might be selling or if it's like a product we might want to buy because it's selling really slow but really high roi so yeah checking out the keepa chart down here and this is definitely a little slower than i'm typically on the lookout for again over here this red bsr means that it was a little bit higher out of our threshold typically i'm looking for the top like two percent of sales ranks it's all configurable on seller app, however fast you want to look for products that sell this is definitely a little bit of a slow seller for me but this product would be profitable you know if you came on this and sold it for 15 bucks you would make a decent amount of money but i just don't think there's enough customers to really warrant that so as we're looking through you know i'm seeing a lot of this like california gold brand as we're looking through a lot of these products another thing i try to take advantage of when i'm manual sourcing is under understanding which brands are worth my time and understanding which brands are not worth my time when I'm looking up certain products. So this item right here, if I were to look for several more items and not really find anything, I might start to like deprioritize looking at, you know, this, the uh, California gold branded stuff. So Let's check this one out. So looks to be almost the same, although the big difference there when we're mousing over, you can see in the title, it had a thousand milligrams. The source over here is 500 milligrams. So I might even just check a couple more. Let's see, 500 milligrams. This one has more soft gels. I thought we were onto something there temporarily. So let's search that one up. Really just trying to get a good idea of, is this brand even worth it for me to continue looking up or should I start skipping over it, right? Another thing that I wanna think about with these manual sourced listings is kind of having it send you down different rabbit holes. So this this product we looked at here for just a second, we noticed that the dosage was off, but this does kind of make me wonder if we should look a little bit further into it. And a lot of times this manual sourcing method takes you down some little rabbit holes that might find you some potentially profitable products. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and copy that right there. And I might even just search this website and see if they do have that other version with the thousand milligram. Yeah, there it is right there. So they do have it, but it looks like it is a little bit too expensive, a lot too expensive, really interesting that that dosage is so much more expensive. But yeah, so nothing really to write home about there but all that to say like let these manual sourcing process let it send you down you know kind of different rabbit hole stuff to check out let's check 
this guy out right here. So these kind of tissues, not really sure. I've never seen this brand before. This is another reason why this method can be pretty good because you're gonna be kind of introduced to new brands and all that. So I'm seeing this guy right there. We're buying for a buck 80. I'm also noticing some of this is short dated. So you can see like this is Best Buy May. It's we're filming this in May. So probably not a good idea to be buying that product here. But this does make me wonder how well does this brand do on Amazon? Should I be on the lookout for it in the future? Even when I'm not looking at iHerb or, you know, just trying to remember in the future, storing all this information is what's going to be awesome in the long run for you to scale your business as you're going through these stores you know this california gold brand is it any good do i see a lot of arbitrage potential in it here in this this rel brand however you say it i'm seeing a lot of really high bsr so that one's out of our ideal range there this one also is a little bit high Fifty-seven thousand here isn't too bad typically looking under like 100k or so in beauty is, is what i would call ideal let's see so another a couple more products i'm checking out here this one has one seller on it so as i'm going going through and looking at these different products, I'm also trying to get an idea of, you know, is it private label? Is the listing controlled? I and mean, as I'm kind of scrolling quickly through a lot of these products, this doesn't really seem like a brand that I would be super interested in selling in the future. And another big red flag here, when you open up this listing, I can see that the brand themselves sell on Amazon already, which a lot of times if the brand sells on Amazon, they might want to kick you off if you, you know, try to hop on a listing and, and get your share of some sales, right? If you own the brand, you'd probably do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and see if we can find maybe just a brand we'd be interested in looking a little bit closer at. So this mile by nature let's see definitely some really high bsrs there not seeing anything that's super interesting in terms of other products let me just simplify it and see what other sales ranks we're looking at so yeah i'm seeing a lot of very high bestseller ranks so anytime i'm seeing that brand in the future i'm going to be pretty likely to skip over it i don't need to waste my time on that brand because something i want you guys to keep in mind as you're trying to find these first products especially if you haven't found your first product yet it probably feels impossible but all the skills are going to compound you're trying to get to the point where you can disqualify leads as fast as possible Possible. To me, sourcing for arbitrage is more about understanding how to look through bad listings and then getting to the good ones faster, right? Because a good listing is going to be a little bit more obvious than well, maybe a bad listing, something to trip you up. And so as we're going through this list, I want us to figure out how do I click as few products in this list as possible? And that's kind of what I'm thinking by the, uh, you know, searching for individual brands and all that. So this ultimates, ultimates right here, very high BSR. Let's see what else. I might even just simplify that. Do I need to look at any of these products in the future? In this case, looks like not really. So let's check out this next brand, this ideal love. Let's see. So not really pulling up anything over there. Simplify that search a little bit. Let's see. So there are some products listed on Amazon. Looks like none of them have feedback though. So again, a brand that does not seem to be selling super quick. So as you're going through these websites and trying to find certain brands, I came across this listing right here, for example, and I just do the same thing. Right click, SAS search, it's gonna punch that title into the sidebar over here. Let me simplify that a little bit. So Shea Moisture. When I punch Shea Moisture in over here, whereas previously we were looking at a bunch of products where we were getting a bunch of high BSRs, products we weren't really that interested in. Maybe they only had like one seller, so they could be private label, controlled listings, that kind of thing. When I look at Shea Moisture, I see a lot of decent BSRs, so 43K, 7K, 4K, 56K, and I see a good amount of offers on all these listings, so 20 offers, 8 offers, 22. And so what this tells me is as I'm going through manually sourcing for these products, I found a brand that it seems like it might be a little bit more arbitrageable, so we can buy it from sites like this, sell it on Amazon. Good amount of competition, but not too much competition. So this tells me I need to dig a little bit deeper. And so as I'm sourcing on these different websites, so in this case, I'm just gonna filter down specifically by Shea Moisture, because now we know we found a good arbitrageable brand. And now I wanna see if any of the products that are on this sale are also kind of doing well on Amazon. So at this point, you can also click on the listing. So when we're kind of like looking for individual brands, I might do that a little bit more often. You can just go in, click the seller app extension up there, and then it'll pull up the price on Amazon for you. So we're looking at a six ounce container here. And this could be it over here on Amazon. Looks like it got really, really cheap, something like that. So six ounces, looks like it's probably the same product as this over here. I might see if like the price right now is way lower than it is usually, which looks like it is actually a little bit lower than usual, but I'm not expecting this price to come back up. It's kind of what I'm really looking out for here. So let's say like, you know, it's typically selling for 15, 16. Might look and see if the price would come back where I might be profitable at 760 in this case. I just don't see that happening because the price is currently at like the same price over here. So then yeah, just go ahead and check out the same product over here. And really like the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to manually look up every single product on the sale, right? You only want to manually look up every single product in brands that you know have high potential. So that's where kind of the differentiator comes in here. So I might even just take Shea Moisture. What is this? Shea Moisture Restoring Cream. Sometimes like simplifying the searches can make it show up a little bit easier. So let's see, simplifying cream. But yeah, let's just plug it straight into Amazon. Sometimes you can get a, a little bit more. So let's see, simplifying 
couple more uh, results if you plug it in directly into Amazon sometimes. I see post shave, really making us get specific with it. I see post shave. So I'm not seeing a standalone listing for this product here, but yeah, so that's kind of the, the process there. We could also check this one last Shea Moisture product just to see if we uh, kind of get lucky. There's only three products here, so it's not crazy that we uh, wouldn't find something immediately, but let's see here. So Shea Moisture Beard Balm, let's just search that. See if we can kind of keep it simple. Yeah, so here's a two pack. Is that the four ounce version? Beard Balm. Yeah, it looks to be the same thing. Max cost says it would be nine dollars we're buying it for about ten dollars so it might be very very close what's this this could be the one pack here and that's another thing you want to take advantage of with this is making sure you use seller up to see all the different multi-packs and that kind of stuff a lot of times you can make profit on one listing and not make profit on the other so let's check this out so this seems to be the cheaper listing here we're buying these for five bucks yeah, so we're buying this for five bucks. It's like a 28% ROI. And the other thing I would think about is using small night down here. You can turn on small night on seller up here. We're paying five dollars for this item. We would have to put it at twelve dollars for it to be eligible for small night. But let's see. So five bucks, put it at twelve bucks. We're making two dollars twenty-two cents. I would say this would be a decent item if you're like prepping it yourself in-house. You could lower the price to twelve bucks. It seems like the price kind of hangs out there. It doesn't seem to be like the fastest seller in the world, but something that kind of proves that this stuff does really work. It's not a home run product by any means, but definitely something to think about there. So this one right here 491 we were buying two of these so you can do that math right there straight up these are 26 percent roi two dollars 58 cents profit another red flag i notice on this listing though is if you go to keep it you see how there's that orange bar up at the top that's showing me who's winning the buy box rotation which really shows you who's winning sales so over the last 30 days this is the only guy who's made any sales on this listing so even though there's other arbitrage sellers on this listing over the last or i guess the last 30 days in this case he's got won all of the sales so there's something going on here they're artificially hogging some sales so i would be on the look out for that definitely wouldn't want to hop onto a product like this but the other one's not too bad you know kind of prove the concept that this stuff does really work so i also want to show you a couple other quick things that saved me a ton of time i've kind of leveled up my amazon business the first thing is going to be cash back monitor here this is something i would highly encourage you to take advantage of anytime you find a product so here we found a product that's decent on iherb.com cash back monitor kind of aggregates all the different services that give you cash back on your purchases but in this case i can see that you know hoopla dupla in this case would be the best cash back provider where we're going to get 4.5 percent of that money back here it's not a like hundred percent guaranteed so i wouldn't bake this into your margins until you know you're very often consistently getting paid out typically i would just treat it as bonus money pretty much no matter what but you know sometimes there's some some exceptions to that treat it as bonus money i would say as a general rule so that 4.5 percent i wouldn't bake in your margin but we can you know squeeze some extra profit out of that and the other thing that saved me a bunch of time when we started using is taking advantage of the google sheets feature here so let's say we did want to go ahead and pull the trigger on this product we should go ahead and punch in 491 as our cost price you know, that would probably be our sale price because we're going to lower it to be eligible for small and light in this example. And then all we'd have to do, so I just go ahead and click, let's say your name's Mike. You got a virtual assistant's name, Mike. And then all they have to do is click their name. As you can see, it exports all of that information about the product to the Google Sheet. So with just the click of a button, we've kind of exported the date, name, ace, and a lot of this other kind of essential stuff that you're going to want to store, ROI, profit, all that good stuff. But you can also configure this however you want. So and this is how ours is set up on the back end of Celerant. You can configure this. You can drag the columns around however you want. You can click this drop down box. There's a ton of different options for you to take advantage of different things you might want to store about a product. So that's kind of another kind of tip that I would leave for you guys if you want to kind of level up your arbitrage game is just kind of taking advantage of Google Sheets integration here. So you can store all that lead information. And then a lot of times these leads become good over time again. So in this case, you throw iHerb on here, you throw that link, just throw it right there. And then you've got all the information stored. So next time we see a big sale come around on iHerb.com, all we have to do is filter this column by iHerb, look through all of our old IR bleeds and we can find a ton of products just like that. And that's one really big thing that's helped us kind of build a legitimate business off of these opportunities is being able to catalog it very well, return back to those opportunities when they come back up. So that way you're not always having to find new products or always, you know, doubling up on your work. So definitely take advantage of kind of cataloging your data, make sure you squeeze as much profit as possible out of your products. And then also take advantage of the SaaS search there, kind of just doing all your searching on one website. So I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this video, picked up a couple new nuggets, gonna go source products even faster now. If you don't already have Celeramp so you can do a lot of that stuff, make sure you get a free trial with the link down below. If you guys do have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to drop those in the comment section. Always happy to answer those. If I did add value to your business, you wanna add some of that value back to mine. If you could hit that subscribe button, that would be a big help as well. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time.